Hi everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we will be designing this cool uh, card flip animation, uh, this 3D card flip animation all inside Adobe XD. Without further ado, let's just get started. So for this we need a web artboard which will be a 1920 by 1080 artboard. And uh, inside this we will first start by creating a simple rectangle, uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Uh, it could be a square as well, whatever shape you want, whatever size you want. And I'm just going to place this in the center of the artboard. Perfect. I'll remove the border. And uh, for the shadow, what we're going to do is we will make another rectangle right here. And uh, we will turn this into a gradient. Uh, we will give this a solid color, a solid black color, and we will uh, reduce the opacity to about uh, 25%. And uh, uh, here, as you can see, there's an option called background blur. We'll check this out. And here we can switch uh, to object blur, and we'll do just that. And as you can see, it's already set to about 30, and that is uh, what we want here. So place it right uh, at the edges of this rectangle and make sure they it covers the entire area and uh, just place it behind this card. So now you have like a good, uh, you know, depth to this card also with this shadow. Um, now let's just place some text uh, over this. Okay, so as you can see, I have this uh, artboard already set up and a card, a basic card lying on this artboard. And uh, as you can see, we have text here and we will also have um, an icon which will uh, indicate uh, sharing. So for that, let's go to plugin. I have a small plugin called Icon Drop right here. And it's a very simple uh, plugin. All you do is just type in whatever you want and it'll show you uh, icons for it and you can just drag and drop. So it's a, it's a cool uh, little uh, plugin um, if you're looking for something simple. Let me uh, check, up, uh, check out free so that it shows me only free icons. And as you can see, all these icons are free. Uh, let, let me take this one right here. If I click on it, I can say insert and it downloads and it inserts it for you. Now, uh, remember this is a PNG, not an SVG, so it's only in black color. So just place it here and maybe, you know, make this much smaller. Okay, now for the card which flips in. So for the flip in card, we will just duplicate this background. Just make another card just like this. And here I'm just gonna place it over everything else. And I will turn this into blue, that'll give this a blue background. Um, this seems just about fine and uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in um, share on social media right and I'll just make sure that this text is white perfect and let me give this slightly larger text 42 perfect um, and there you go uh, now I'll just place some uh, dummy buttons here, just simple dummy buttons to showcase something right here. Um, now comes a, something which is very important. Um, make sure that all of this text is actually an object. So go to object, go to path and say convert to path. Now all this text is now converted into path. Uh, it is important because if you resize th this text now, it'll just resize as it is it won't scale down or it won't uh you know uh, it won't go into the next line it, it's now just a simple element and just make sure all the text is uh, converted into a path perfect everything else is fine so what i'll do is group everything in this uh, card together first of all Perfect, and also group everything in this card as well. Perfect. Now that I've grouped everything together, I will first of all bring this card right on top of this card, the second social media card, and I will start edit editing this card a little bit. 
So what I'll do is I will double click on the card and as you can see now I can edit the anchor points. I'll hold one of these anchor points on the top right and I'll just hold shift and I will pull this anchor point towards the top just like this a little bit. And uh, this is more visual than anything else so you don't have to make sure that it's aligned or anything just make sure that it's straight. And this side also I will pull, uh, push these anchor points inside like this just a little bit uh, not too much perfect and here as well I will uh, for the text and the boxes let's do one thing is just hold one of these sides and just bring them in okay so for the text what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this text smaller like this from the right to the left just like that and for these boxes as well make sure responsive resize is off uh, otherwise they won't re, uh, resize themselves and just like that we're gonna create it and just like that we're gonna bring these uh, make sure responsive resize is off and just bring these uh, in like this perfect uh, now what I'm gonna do is I will make sure that this uh, has a zero width and is a, all this is from the right to the left we'll pull it in just like this and uh, together in this group we'll make sure that this is zero width so select all of these elements in this card and this card itself and here in the width just type in zero as you can see everything is now uh, zero uh, just bring everything in if everything is not zero make sure that this text is also hidden so now everything is more or less zero it actually says five right here but you know we're not getting any any way below that uh, and make sure that the opacity is set to zero as well. Now everything here is ready. We can do go ahead and duplicate this artboard with everything in it. And here what I'll do is now I have to make changes to this card. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, double click on this card and I'm going to drag these anchor points uh, similar to what I did in the blue sharing card. So I, I think you've gotten the idea of what we're trying to do is we're trying to change the ang uh, to change the visual angles of these. Uh, just make sure that you know uh, it, it, it's pulled in and also everything here we are going to make uh, you know just decrease the width uh, towards the right like this. Make sure Robin Sharma is also, uh, you know, the width is decreased like that. Perfect. Uh, and also for the share button, make sure the share button's width is also uh, something like that. Let me just double click on the share button. Maybe it's not editable outside. And make sure it's not a responsive resize is always off uh, for these elements. And let me do the same for this. What's happening, dude? And now what I'm going to do is just bring the width of the card as well uh, towards the center. Make sure everything is now selected and just press everything like this make sure it's more or less zero and the text might be a little fidgety so make sure that you select the text individually and decrease the width to close to zero if not zero uh, let me select this text real quick and I'm just gonna reduce the width just like that perfect uh, as well as for this icon I'm just gonna bring it in here I'm just gonna hide it perfect uh, now we have these elements laid out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in the center just like that. Make sure it's center of the artboard. Perfect. And the shadow as well we will decrease the width uh, quite a bit right here. Make sure it's placed in the center just like that. And uh, 
reduce the opacity of the shadow as well to zero because now the element is gone and now you want everything on the screen to have zero percent opacity in the second artboard okay so one thing is left for me to do is make sure that this group is also zero percent opacity now i will duplicate this artboard once again so this is uh, one last time we'll duplicate the artboard and inside since we can't see anything we're going to navigate from the artboard section here from the layer section here and um, as you can see we've hidden uh, most of the stuff here so the main thing that we need uh, to unhide now is uh, this group which is the blue sharing so I'll increase the opacity to 100 and make just bring the width to about 100 as well just so that we can start seeing some stuff uh, yeah and I'll go inside this group to see the rectangle uh, which we had created uh, which is the base and make sure the width of the base is also uh, you know wide now and uh, if you go back to the first artboard you can s you can see the width and the height of this card we want it to be the same uh, for this card as well so go ahead and make sure that this card is the same uh, width and height uh, let me just bring it in into the center make sh make sure everything is centered out uh, that's very crucial and I'll just drag these anchor points across and make a proper uh, rectangle. Make sure everything is leveled out as well. And here, if you can see, I can uh, you can see the height of this rectangle as well. I'm just going to copy over the height and make sure this is the same height as that rectangle. And I'll place this thing in the center as well. Where is the center? There you go. And the text, as you can see, it's kind of messed up, uh, but we'll fix that real quick. Um, I'm just gonna stress, stretch this out. And you have to visually be careful. You don't want to stretch this text out too much, right? Uh, and also these rectangles, I'm just gonna hold all of these and just make sure they're a certain width. Just bring these all in right here because this is uh, certainly slightly messed up but it's fine and we'll change the width and just add these buttons like this which we did before uh, and this is the final result now what we're going to do is we will we will also make sure that the shadow that we uh, we've reduced the opacity of the rectangle this is the rectangle six there's the shadow we'll increase the opacity to 100 and make sure this fits uh, the borders here as well so, you know, it gives the shadow uh, effect behind this card as well. Yeah, there you go. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is to make sure that the card can come back. I'm going to add another artboard in between, which is this plain artboard right here. And I'm quickly going to prototype this now. Uh, if I click on this card, anywhere on this card, it'll go to the second artboard. Uh, it says on tap, auto animate and uh, say ease out. Uh, 0 0.4 seconds and for this artboard I'll select the entire artboard make sure you've selected the artboard and not any component inside the artboard and I'll just bring this arrow to the third artboard and say auto animate uh, ease out and fr from tap we will change to time and uh, we'll leave it to 0 seconds delay uh, ease out and we'll make sure this is 0 0.4 seconds again and when coming back We'll select the entire artboard as well and uh, we'll just say tap this time and um, here just like before we are gonna say a time trigger for this art artboard and say ease out 0.4 seconds so we're setting the same thing everywhere. Okay a quick fix uh, I kind of messed up a little bit if I double click on this uh, rectangle it should bring in just bring in one of these uh, anchor points in the first artboard and then leave it and then bring it back make sure that this rectangle which is here as you can see path 12 is a path and not a rectangle not a uh, rectangle like this right uh, otherwise the whole the whole thing won't work and as you can see this card is successfully flipping uh, obviously there are certain things which we can't work out with Adobe XD they're not uh, that good 
but I'll give this Adobe XD file down in the description for you to check it out. I worked on this for quite some time and uh, if you work on your design as well, you can get things to work perfectly. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and let's reach 2000 subscribers by the end of, end of this week. And also hit that like button, hit that bell icon so that you get notified about my videos every Monday and every Thursday. I hope you have a great day. God bless.